Hi again, everybody. It's me, Justin Kennington of SDVOE. Uh, I'm joined by Bert Lee, the Vice President of AV Link. Bert, yeah. thanks for joining us. Welcome. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Um, so tell us a little bit about AV Link from a, from a big perspective. Not all of our audience might know you. Mm -hmm. What markets do you serve? Uh, what geographies do you serve? Okay, everything is uh, is a, pro a professional uh, audio visual and manufacturer and also solution provider based in Taiwan. Uh, actually, this is the uh, 34th year anniversary to Everlink. So we are a long history company. Uh, for Everlink, uh, in the in the uh, in the recent years, we are focused on the video processing algorithm development. So now we have some uh, uh, some uh, new product line, product line the SDVOE and also video processor something like that. Yeah, for our market, we are more fo focused on the critical application like medical. Uh, military and the design firms, which is request for request for high resolution like 4K or 8K, yeah, videos. You talked about being a specialist in video processing. I think often SDVOE falls into a trap. People know us as an AV over IP video transport solution, and yes. they forget about all yeah. the processing power that's also built in. Yeah. Tell us about how some of your products are using the processing capability in, in SDVOE to build. To build products, what processing are you using? Okay, for SVOE, uh, because now we uh, have ASIC solution. Mm -hmm. So in ASIC, that's a transceiver, and uh, in each device is over HDMI in and out, and also in our in our device also over analog audio in out, uh, USB, and also uh, RS232 streaming in in the in, in the whole network. So that enable uh, the uh, so not, not involve some uh, IoT solution. And also a medical application that uh, they can use the system to uh, to transmit uh, 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 uncompressed video, 4K videos over the whole network and uh, with a zero latency, and also with uncompressed. That is a key point on the whole system. Po multi point, multi point, little than point to point. I know that you've also, um, besides innovating with your hardware, you've built your own software application. Yep. Uh, to, to serve different markets. You just showed me some scheduling capabilities yes. uh, based on your experience with digital signage. So yeah. tell, me, tell me how do you use your SDVOE products in a digital signage environment? Okay, okay. Uh, because in uh, in, uh, in everything, so our previous product line, digital signage is also what the market we focus, focus on. So in, our, in the very beginning when we uh, started developing the SDVOE product line, we, we input the digital signage application in the SDVOE system. So in our UI, we have uh, two functions we call a uh, 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 show and schedule. Show means that uh, you can present the events, something that you can set up uh, the uh, uh, events uh, how, for how long, how, how many seconds or how many minutes you want to, you want to input a, a video source from which, which, uh, which input and also audio, video, audio, you can edit an event. Then, for, then also you can set up on the other function, say, okay, what day, what time I want to play that event. That is a kind of the digital signage concept we input in the SDV system. Okay. Okay, yeah. Cool. You mentioned some of the markets you've gone after. You've gone after medical. You told me about some industrial applications. Yeah. Uh, talk a little about that. Uh, a chip manufacturing facility. Yes. Yes. Uh, because we are we we are based in Taiwan and also our SDV is a hundred percent made in Taiwan. So uh, now, as, as many people know now, the uh, now. Uh, Taiwan's uh, uh, IT industry is getting uh, more uh, more popular. So we got a lot of uh, uh, inquiry from the uh, IC chip mill, which is uh, asking for the IoT, the smart factory design. So they come to us say, hey, they have they have uh, some uh, video uh, request, video streaming uh, network request from uh, production, something that the camera to see the production line. Yeah. They also has they also have some. Uh, Data that need to change uh, streaming to their control room. So they come to us say, "Hey, we need a 4K uh, video streaming and also transmitting, also transmission some USB and also IR. What kind of solution you have?" I said, "Yes, SDV is the best solution because it's also over over a compressed 4K and also zero latency. Zero latency is a key point and also." Fanless design because uh, for uh, for most of uh, uh, factory, especially for uh, high tech high tech factory, uh, fanless design is a key is a key point they are looking for because uh, <clears throat> usually when people know that with, when device with fan, the noisy and also the shake. Yeah, yeah, okay. it's a it, a, a, a headache to an uh, installer. Okay. So they come to us and find a solution. Yeah, that makes sense. And a fanless design 
um, you know, is, is probably naturally cooler in the yes. first place. That's why you don't need the fan. Yeah. Um, but it, it makes the product more sustainable too, right? Because yes. You don't, you don't have to power the fan. That's it. Yes. The fan won't fail and yeah. have to replace that component, yeah. which of course is a whole other yeah. more shipping, more, yeah. more materials. Yeah. Um, so that really that really helps. You mentioned that you have moved. Uh, to start using the ASIC for SDVOE. That's it. That's, that's a big it. power reduction. Yeah. Right? Uh, that's it. Can you can you compare about the, how much is the power consumption of your FPGA based product compared to your ASIC product? Uh, I, for example, I'm, I'm not I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure because uh, I have to check the data. Yeah. 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 We, we see people anywhere from 50 to 80 percent lower. Oh. Uh, with the ASIC, it's a really wow. really big difference. Yeah. So, so again, yeah, it, that's it, amazing. Yeah. It's 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 good for your install and good for the environment at the same yeah. time. Yeah. Um, the last thing I wanted to touch on is is product availability. There you are in in, in Taiwan, one yep. of the one of the world centers for yep. for manufacturing electronics, and and you're enabling yes. uh, chip manufacturers yes. to ho hopefully get us out of this this chip shortage so. that we're in. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, how has AV Link prepared for the world that we're in now, and how are your inventory levels, and how's your ability to deliver product when it's ordered? Okay, uh, because uh, back to uh, about two years ago, we knew that the IC shortage. Would become an issue uh, since the COVID-19. Yeah. So back to couple, uh, two years ago, we uh, we we per we sent more purchase order to to uh, to input more uh, inventory level in our factory. So now uh, I can say that uh, we usually we get a thousand pieces of uh, ASIC ASIC transceiver uh, inventory uh, ready in our factory. So okay. this time uh, should not be a, a big issue to us. That's great. Yeah. Good good job planning ahead. Thank you so much. Well, thank you, Bert, for joining us. Is there anything else we should talk about? Anything I missed? Yeah, I'm uh, yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, it's good. good. Yeah. Thank you for joining thanks us. Thanks so Bert. much. Yeah, thanks and so thank much. Thank you for watching. Thank you.